Okay, so now that you've learned how to purchase your IM Pass online, we will show you how to register your team. First, we will sign in at the top of the screen on Member Connect and input our NetID and then our blue password in the right boxes. Upon signing in, I will then scroll to the top and click on the Intramurals tab, and then I will click on the Intramural Sports banner. This will take me to I Am Leagues. This is my home page, which gives me a lot of information, including messages, uh, it shows kind of your friends, and general announcements for you, the player. To create a team, I'll now click on the Intramurals tab, which will take me to the main screen where we have announcements, we have forum topics and polls. Uh, you can see the sports listed here, and I will sign up a 2v2 volleyball team. When I click on the league, the league description will tell me all of the different time slots that are available, and I will go to the green button, register sign up, and click create team. Now I have to take the captain's quiz, which is in place of the captain's meeting. All captains must get 80% on the quiz to be eligible to play. Here are my helpers. I've got my volleyball rules, which will pull up for 6v6, 4v4, and 2v2, so all volleyball specific rules. And when I click back, the next document is our intramural sports guidelines that tells you all of our different eligibility policies and any changes will be made in gray. So as we kind of scroll through our guidelines, there are a lot of different topics. And for example, our sub policy, which is new, that's why it's shaded in gray, uh, that is something to keep aware because it will be on the quiz. When I go back, the last document that we will look at as our study guide are our 2015-16 program changes, which describes online registration and our substitution policy in more specific detail. From here I will begin the quiz and all of a sudden I've gotten a perfect quiz. Since I wrote this quiz I hope I would get a perfect score. But After you take the quiz and you pass the quiz you click continue and this is where you will actually select your division. So all of the divisions are listed and the times and I will choose the Tuesday at 5.30 and 6.15 time slot. Here, I will have to click inside the box and scroll down within the box for the waiver, accept the waiver, and then I can type my team name in the appropriate box. So, we're at Creighton, we will be the Creighton Blue Jays, and as we scroll down, you'll see my phone number is listed. Uh, I would encourage you to click the allow text message buttons for updates regarding the weather. Also, you can get a text message update on your game time up to four days in advance of the game. Once we're all set, we will click Create Team. And there you go. Our team is created in the appropriate division. This is our team homepage where it will show you our rankings. We can invite players. It'll show you the roster, the captain settings, and the team settings is where we would be able to do things like change our team name if we would like. In addition, I can click back on our league, which will take us to our league homepage, and you will be able to see all of the teams in that league, in addition to when the league plays, any general announcements, and the score ticker as well for game results. To go to the game schedule, we will click over Division and click on Game Schedule. This will not only show the entire schedule for our league, but you can expand it out to see all of the games being played for all the leagues. When I go back to my home screen, I will be able to click on the teams, and that is where you will see your team listed and your next game being played. Well, that's about it. It's a pretty simple process, but if you're having any problems, please let us know in the main office. Otherwise, good luck and go play.